morning loves this is my soft life morning routine if you're legally blind like me you know life is hard so any way to make it easier or start off the day slow I'm here for the first thing I do every single day is make my bed my day doesn't start until this is done as I'm folding I'm thinking about how I'm gonna set the intention to unfold my day right once I switch into my yoga gear I'm gonna head downstairs why does aloe app have me moving like that? Whatever this move is, it works though, because my core was sore. I always do about 10 to 15 of core and then another 30 to 35 of cardio. As much as I hate the gym, I always feel better once I finish a session. And I feel like moving is its own meditation in itself. Whether you do yoga, flexibility, whatever it is, getting active helps you tap into your body. When I get back up, I put my shoes away because you can't be a clean girl without a clean place and I grab a hair towel. Today's wash day and if you're naturally curly like me, you know this is a whole routine. No matter what time of year it is, my showers have to be hot. I don't know what it is. I can't do a cold shower in the spring and summer. I can't. Okay, this part looks like I'm doing the most, but trust me, my hair is dry, dry. So every last drop of hydration helps. I'm taking these products and starting off by moisturizing my scalp with rosemary oil. My hairstylist gave me this tip a couple years ago and it really helps with hair growth. Once I've pre-washed, I'm going to go in with a shampoo, conditioner, and I have to. This part is mandatory. Mask up. Every time I wash my hair, non-negotiable, it needs to be followed with a mask. While that sits for 15 minutes, I'm gonna try to lather this netted loofah thing. It doesn't really lather much, but it's so good for exfoliating. Then to double up and get extra soft and supple, I'll follow up with this Dead Sea Salt Scrub. Ooh, smells so good. Now I'm gonna put my hair in the hair turban to soak up most of the moisture. Usually I do this in the shower, but it'd be hard to show you the foreo and washing my face in that angle, so I just did it here. Then I'm going to take my hair out to allow it to air dry and put on some of this dermatologist prescribed treatment. You know a lot of girls say, I just drink water. No, I've tried that. I need more than that. That's my clean girl skin hack. I moisturize with two different lotions and follow up with a natural deodorant, which I need to switch out because the way the season is going, mm, I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to put a light coat of hair product to lock in the moisture. And now it's time to do a little get ready with me, a blind girl edition. Here is my secret for being able to do my makeup when I can't see well. That 10x contact lens mirror allows me to see my eyes. And even then, you can see I'm kind of struggling a little bit. But the best thing about the clean girl aesthetic is it's your best. I apply a little liner, mascara, I follow it up with a brow pencil. I wanted to be part of that girl trend so badly, but it wasn't for me. Clean girl aesthetic though, everyone can be effortless chic. I'm trying to use my flick of the wrist to apply my brows. Sometimes I do too much or not enough, so I blend, blend, blend with the brush and smooth it in with a brow gel. When that's all done, it's my favorite time of day, matcha moment. Today I'm gonna to use cream of Earl Grey matcha. I usually use two scoops of matcha, a little bit of water, and a lot of oat milk. I'm running low on the matcha, so here goes the whole canister. I like to meditate when I'm making my matcha. You don't always have to be sitting cross-legged with your eyes closed to get the same vibe. When that's done, since this is a soft life morning routine, we're gonna go bougie with it. I'm making crepes. I made the crust a couple days ago, so if you wanna know how I did this, let me know and I'll do a dedicated video. My go-to is Nutella strawberry banana. Chef's kiss, what's your pick? 
While I'm having breakfast, I'll reply to texts via voice to text, and I'll also post and promote on social. I love TikTok, but I hate that they don't have the accessibility on lock. I always have to use voice to text because the text doesn't magnify and I can't see. TikTok, get it together for us blind people, please. Once I'm done doing what I need to do, I'm gonna take some time to scroll and see what the world is up to. I try not to go on social as soon as I open my eyes. I usually give myself a two or three hour buffer because it's just too much. The energy out there is wild. There's a lot of creatives, but there's also a lot of crazies. So I like to give myself a little space in between. I scroll the stupidness on the screen. When I wrap up my breakfast, I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna take these supplements. The first is a calcium magnesium blend. I'm not really big on dairy, but I need to get those nutrients. The second is biotin because I want them inches. I want my hair to grow back. I'm gonna go outside on the balcony for a little bit. We only have so many weeks of warm weather here in the six. It's not even that warm today. Anything less than 25 degrees is not warm to me. And today was breezy. Can you see the wind in the background? So after I've sat out there for a little bit, I'm gonna come back in, pack my purse, cause it's time to get on with the rest of my day. Don't forget those sunglasses if you have star guards though. I'm gonna pick my shoes. Lately I've been wearing sneakers a lot. Funny, cause I never used to wear them before the panorama. But today I'm gonna wear sandals. I'm also gonna pack a little to-go bag. I'm also gonna pack a little tote bag in case I have any errands to run on the way back. And that's that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the morning with me. If you did, let me know down below. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later.